everyone, I hope you're well. So as on the title, I am doing a autumn winter switch over. So obviously we've come to the end of summer. Um, and I kind of do this every year where I just change my seasons of clothes. Um, although I do buy a few new pieces here and there, I generally, most of my wardrobe has been with me for many years. So, um, yeah it just it literally feels like you're shopping your own wardrobe which i really love i find that because i'm not using the same pieces all year round that everything stays in really good condition i'm not over wearing stuff um and yeah you kind of revisit the pieces again and it's quite exciting really just to go oh my god yeah i wore that like three years ago whatever and it's always interesting to see whether you fit into pieces as well because that's always an interesting one um i don't have a massive amount of stuff to switch over i think um i have this small box here i have a feeling i might have another box i just need to like move a few things and see if any clothes are in it um had a bit of a wardrobe shuffle but yeah it's officially autumn and i put on this sort of autumn -y shirt i actually got this last year from asda i think it was like 10 maybe 12 pounds and it you can, as you can see it's just oh, it's just really beautiful flowers and it's very autumnal um very me i love a shirt so um yeah i put this on this morning especially for this video because i thought it just works perfectly and i haven't worn it i don't think i've worn it this year at all so um yeah anyway i'll show you what i get up to and how I transition my wardrobe over. So you may or may not know, but we've only had these wardrobes in place for not even a year. And generally the wardrobe space is a lot bigger than what we used to have. So this is my side and then Graham's is this side. These are Ikea Pax wardrobes. You can kind of, I don't know, um, like, you know, make it to your own. Um, so we've got the drawers here got this thin drawer and then literally a rail which holds a lot of clothes you can see it holds a lot lots of jackets as well and I'm basically just going to switch out some like summery bits you know I may go into the into this giving some stuff to like family members or charity shops because it's surprising how you go through your wardrobe and you think have I worn that this summer did I wear it last summer that sort of thing and then some pieces stay in obviously because some pieces just work you can layer them um or whatever and some of them are just like more eveningy pieces not that we've been going out obviously but you know what i mean you just keep pieces in again with jackets and stuff uh blazers they can be used all year round so i might just like switch a few things up um but generally my jeans are all on this side and then my shorts are on this side so I will just leave these out before I didn't have the room for it all but now I do I just leave it and it's it's quite nice I'm not gonna lie it's good to have choice I do have a lot of different styles of jeans and obviously shorts um, will just stay there till when I use them again that's more like pajamas underwear and then here I have a lot of my tops again I'm gonna sift through a few tops I have a lot of white tops that I think are a little bit stained or just I just don't reach for um there are things that I just don't reach for in here and then this section are actually all roll necks which I haven't worn this year because it well actually I think I may have worn a couple of them at the beginning of the year um when it was cold but obviously it's just been hot so I haven't reached for them yet and then at the bottom it's very miscellaneous <laughs> got some summery bits i've got hangers i've got a new item there um it's a bit more lounge wary and then like swim stuff and then this is obviously the stuff that i've pulled out and put away it's a couple of things randomly on top um but again i may go through this and think did i wear it like previously last winter will i wear it this winter um has it changed you know my style sometimes changes this is actually a summery dress which i knew i wouldn't get into this year because obviously i'm only a year postpartum my chest that dress my chest is just way too big for that dress but i'm keeping it because i love the dress and i'm hoping next year maybe okay so i'm going to try and go through a few pieces with you i'll try not to go through it all because it might be a bit boring i don't want this video to be too long um hopefully the lighting is not too bright you can probably hear the turkeys. I've got the window wide open because I just love having the airflow. 
But anyway, I'm gonna go through, pull out bits that I know I won't use over the autumn winter, a really summery. So, first off, we have got the little jumpsuit. I'm actually gonna keep this in because I think it would look really, although I think I've said this before, I only wear this at home. I think I might be able to pull it off with like a jumper or like a, a knitted cardigan maybe through the autumn winter. But generally it's a really nice home piece because I can feed in it. It's just so comfy, honestly. It's just like a really lovely cotton jumpsuit. And that's from ASOS. I will, if I, if I do have any new pieces, I will try and leave them linked. Right, then we have some of these little dungarees. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I only probably wore these once or twice. Um, but I am going to keep them. These are from Shein. I think that's the brand. Um, again, I'll leave them linked. I got them this year. Very inexpensive. They're like 10 or £11 pounds each. They're really nice for just wearing a little white tank top or t-shirt underneath. Really lightweight summer. I could feed in them. Um, and I'm going to keep those and pack them away. Um, I also have this little um, play suit, this little peach one. I got this from ASOS this year. Again, it's a great beach throw on as well. I've worn this quite a lot um, in the garden. It's just so comfy. Um, so I'm going to keep that again for next year. Got my little denim play suit. I got this in the next sale. I absolutely love this. This is like one of my favourite bargain buys. I think I got it for £16. Um, yeah, it was an easy one to feed in. Just really flattering as well. So I'm keeping that. That will go for next year. I don't actually think I wore this over summer. I would say it's it's quite heavy weight knit. This is from Gap. I think I did get this either this year or the end of last year. But I think actually with a oversized cardigan, a nice pair of skinny black jeans, this could be a really nice piece to wear through the autumn, even winter. Um, you can see it's quite long, it's quite heavyweight, so I'm going to keep that. I've got a hanger. We've got this striped shirt. Oh, I love this shirt so much. Um, I love the cut. The only thing I'm finding at the moment is that it doesn't fit me that well in the top half. I'm a bit broader. It's so crazy how your body changes so much when you're pregnant. But in the space of a year, like my my shape has changed massively. Well, in the shape of like 18 months, I would say. Um, I'm going to keep it in because I do love it. And I think with an iron, I might be able to style it with a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans maybe open with a vest top but this is from next and um yeah i've had this for a couple of years it's basically just a pinstripe shirt but i love a shirt and i just really want to wear it you know um okay we've got a couple more shirts so this one is a primark i call this my easter shirt because it's kind of i don't know it's just pastel and eastery so this is going away for spring this is also a very spring summer shirt. This is from Bowdoin. I've had this for years as well. It's very lightweight. You can see it's very sheer, but I love it. It's just one of, I, I've toyed with that for years, whether I should get rid of it, you know, when it's kind of one of those pieces, but I still wear it. Like I still actually wear it like at least once or twice a year, which doesn't sound a lot, but when you've got quite a big wardrobe anyway, it's, it's still, it's still worth keeping. I kind of don't want to give it away. I think that's how I feel about it. Right, so we've got loads of little little tops. So I've got, I'm gonna keep these. I've got, there's the beige one in here. Yeah, I've got the beige one in here as well. I kind of want to keep these out. I know they look quite summery though, but with a heavy knitted cardigan, blazer, maybe something for the evening. I don't know, I just kind of want to keep them out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them out. If they don't work, I'll just put them away in the end. Um, this one's going away as well as this one because they're just far too summery. Right, we've got this. I got this before, just literally before lockdown from M&S. This roll neck vest. I'm going to keep this one just like the green one. It's more of a heavy weight. So I couldn't really wear this through the summer because it's just too, too hot, obviously. So I'm going to keep that. 
I love the colour as well, it's like coral. I think I got that for like 2 dollars from M&S in the sale. Um, I'm going to keep this because this is a re recent purchase. I also got this, I think, for £2. I think it was £2 from Primark. Um, it's kind of like a linen top. A little bit oversized, but it's really nice when it's tucked in. Right, this shirt. I always toy with this shirt. I have not reached for it at all this year. I think that might be my pile to get rid of. That's from H&M. Same with this. I literally, I never wear this. I bought this in the sale many, many years ago from Jules. This poncho thingy. Never wear it. Ever. I think it's just a bit big. Even though it's an 8, it just, it's quite heavy. Oh, so hard. I hate getting rid of things. Okay, another shirt that I love. I actually bought this the end of last year from the jewel sale as well. Look, another shirt. Kind of more of their autumnal floral. I'm going to keep that. I love it. This is my um, pinstripe with little hearts. This is more of a my Valentine shirt. I'm going to keep that. And then I've got a denim shirt. I'm going to keep that. That's from Oasis. I never go in Oasis. I never buy anything from Oasis. But I've had this for years. And it's really long. I love that. Just a really nice throw on. Um, I'm going to keep this. I've worn this recently actually. This is from uh, George Asda. Again, I got this the end of last winter or the end of the year and it's got a zip. So again, I, I loved wearing it because it was easy feed. Um, yeah, and you can kind of dress it up and dress it down. So I'm keeping that. That was a bargain, that one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I wore this like, like maternity wise, wore that while I was really heavily pregnant. It's actually not maternity, but it's from M&S in the, like a bigger size. I love it, but I just haven't reached for it this year. I think it's just a bit too big now because obviously I wore it through pregnancy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna part with that. I got that in the sale for like seven quid, I think. Right, I'm gonna keep this. This is by the brand Nutmeg. Got this a couple years ago from Morrison's, like who knew they did clothing? Like really nice clothing. This was only 10 pounds. It looks way more expensive. It's got the really nice tortoiseshell buttons. And um, it kind of reminds me of Pudsey, the bear. You know, when you, they wear the dots. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that anyway. I really like it. This is a item that I bought last year um, from Laredet. It's this really gorgeous copper shirt needs an iron it's the only downside to this is that it has to be ironed but i love it it's just one of those like shirts that it's just it feels a bit luxury and to dress it up and dress it down this is a definite autumnal piece um this i've had this for a couple of years i believe this is like a wrap evening top i would say it's it's really nicely fitted from next i got it in the next sale a couple of years ago keeping that I think I've only worn it a couple of times just because I don't really go out in the evening that much. But if I do have a nice dinner or something, it's, you know, it's there if I need it. And I really like it. Um, also, this one I got from John Lewis. I can't remember when I got this one. But it, again, it's more of an evening-y. It's kind of got a little bit of a sparkle through it. It's black with a little bit of sparkle. It's a wrap top love this it's just a classic top that would just great for evenings you can wear it anywhere actually dress up dress down and then we're moving on to kind of more evening -y tops i actually wore this recently we went out for dinner me and graham a little date night and i love it i don't know why it's the most really different top it's from next pet years but I just really like it. It's more recently from Primark, I think it was like five pounds, maybe eight pounds. Just a spotted cami. I'm gonna keep that in, because I think I could put a heavy knit over that. And that could be cute, a cute daytime, not just evening. Even though it is a cami, I think for autumn, you can kind of get away with that sort of thing, because it's not really that cold right now. Okay, we've got some more evening. I'm actually going to put these two away just because 
I have worn them this year actually. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this one. I don't like the fit. The This bit along here is really tight. So on the chest it kind of pulls and it just it doesn't look flattering. So I'm going to get rid of that one. That one's originally Primark. And then this one's originally Papaya, which is Matalan. Love a bit of Matalan. I love that. I've had that for years. Into trousers. These are some like dog tooth style with a hint of blue. Can you see? I don't know if they're going to fit me. Size 8, new look. Don't know. I'm going to have to put these as maybe because I need to try them. But I would quite like to wear those over autumn. Um, I'm going to pack away these, which are my comfy summery trousers. So these ones are from Next. I've had these again many, many years. Five plus years. These ones are from Sainsbury's. So comfy. These are like my favourite pair. Just love the colours. Got to have some tapered trousers over the summer. Okay, on to more trousers. I'm going to keep these out actually. I recently got these from H&M. These wide leg beige trousers. I've worn them once. I know, not that much. But they're only £12.99. They look so much more expensive. They're so comfy. And... With a heavy knit um, pair of vans, they're just really, really nice. Not that practical though with baby, that's the only thing. But I do really like them. Um, I'm gonna pack these away. I haven't worn them this year. I find them a little bit tight around the hips, like on the thighs. I'm gonna give them a second chance next year because I really like them. They're only Primark, but they're just linen, green, tapered trousers. You never know, I might get back into those. And then I think I might keep these out. They are quite light though. I do worry about the sheerness of them. But these are Bowden. Yeah, Bowden. I've had these for years. Again, tapered trousers. I know they look quite summery because they're floral. But actually the colours are quite dark. Right, a couple of skirts. I'm going to keep these out and up. Um, this is a Gap skirt, which I have worn. And this is a Primark one. I've been loving the skirts with like Converse, trainer, just casual it down, comfortable. So I'm going to keep them out because I think, again, with a nice knitted jumper um, or a basic t-shirt with a little cardi, I think it's really sweet. Um, again, I've had these many many years they're just classics i've got this skirt i'm gonna keep this in i don't know if i fit in it i'm gonna have to try it but it's an evening skirt clearly um more evening skirts that i'm just gonna keep in and then okay we've got this little green skirt which is from H&M I believe. I'm going to put this one away because it's shorter. I know I'm not going to wear it at all. I'm going to pack this one away. I love that. I haven't worn it this year but I'm going to hopefully wear it next year. It's like a linen shirt. I'm going to keep these ones up just because they're kind of really lovely tailored skirt. This one especially is from Next. It was quite expensive. It fits like a glove and it's gorgeous quality as well. So I'm gonna keep this one and definitely get some wear out of this. Like I mentioned with the skirts, like wearing a nice little trainer. You can dress it up and down there. I've got some really nice like black boots I can wear with it. This one is actually an eBay cheapie. Um, I think this was about 10 to 15 pounds. Um, and then onto the Cardis. Again, I've had this one for many years. This is by m and it's one of those Kotagans. I said I wasn't gonna show you my whole wardrobe, but just realized I've been through my whole bloody wardrobe, haven't I? Oh well, hopefully it's not too long, 16 minutes. Um, I usually put this one away, but I quite like the color. I kind of want to keep it out. Like this one, I love this jacket, but honestly, I never reach for it. You can see the actual colour of it. It's like a mauvey pink colour. I really like it, but like I said, I never reach for it. I just don't know. I, I just don't know how to wear it. Kind of 
slightly feels a bit awkward, but I don't know why. You know what I mean? I think it's like this little ruffle bit. Mm, yeah, I think I need to get rid of that. I'm going to keep this. This is from H&M. Got that in the H&M sale. I'm going to keep this because I wear this on school one. <laughs> this is from Tesco. It's just one of their kind of fluffy, like, th I think that's more in the kind of sleepwear loungewear but I wear it honestly just throw it on for school runs and whatever this blazer looks like I've got makeup on it I might have to give that a wash it's the colour isn't it um, I think I'm going to put that away give it a wash and put it away keep this one out because I absolutely love it I got this in the next sale honestly the next sales are the best I think I got this for £12 maybe it was originally like 45 really lovely tailored oversized um sage green blazer i'm going to keep that out. i love that um this is something i never reach for but you know when you want to wear it but i just never wear it again it's from next i've had it for years i'm gonna get rid of it i think it's the neckline it's kind of like a biker style no collar no structure just kind of like unawkwardly hangs Right, this one I haven't worn. You can see the tag on. You've seen this in a recent next next sale haul. I got this for twenty pounds. Originally forty. I will wear that. This is an old faithful um, long sleeve, long sleeve, long cardigan. Originally from TK Maxx, but it's like a designer brand. It's a proper wool, heavy wool cardigan. I love it. I wear it all the time. Um, floral i think i'm going to keep this out actually because it's quite dark this blazer that's from h&m got that in the sale many years ago i'm also going to keep this top shop blazer out again i think i actually bought this from ebay a couple years ago it's like a dog tooth style i think i got it for like a tenner i'm definitely going to wear that and then my denim jacket Shall I keep you out? No, I'm gonna pack you away. Guess what? Baby's awake. How annoying. I've literally, wow, I'm gonna to have to stop and revisit this, but I'm just clearing out what's left at the bottom. I'm just gonna give it a nice wipe down, but I found our little 10 year wedding anniversary card from April. I made this up for Graham, because obviously we're in lockdown. Couldn't go out and get any cards or anything. So I got him, I made him this one, which is, Sweet, such lush memories on there. Right, revisited in the afternoon. Graham's back, so I've just got, I mean, the clothes are on the bed, so I'm like, I'm gonna have to sort this lot out, otherwise we're sleeping on the floor tonight. Just pulled out my other box of clothes. This has less stuff in it, uh, more bigger items, so I'm just gonna pull, start pulling some bits out and showing you. Actually, I think I might put some of this stuff back in, because the bed is really full. Um, so the blazers that I'm keeping, I'm going to put these back in. Do you know when you kind of want to colour coordinate your clothes but you just can't? I just, I, I don't know. It just never works out for me. I think it's maybe because I don't have enough of one colour, if that makes sense. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go. Right, I think I'm going to keep this in there. Um, right, so I've got another coat again, which... This is one that I put away again for seasonal because it's just a little bit thicker and obviously it's a bit more autumnal like the colours. Um, it's pretty much the same as that pink one from m and apart from it's obviously this colour. I absolutely love it. I think it's really kind of, you can kind of dress it up. Um, yeah, again, I've had this for a few years. So, it's definitely going up there. Ooh. When you find things and you think, oh, I love that. I remember getting this. This like peplum style jumper. Things need an eye, I know. That's from Zara. These H&M. These are like those like summery lightweight tapered trousers that I was going on about with the elasticated waist. These are basically on par with that, but they are heavier cotton. So they're way more better, obviously, for autumn. And they're kind of autumnal colours as well. I've had these for a few years. And... Um, I actually love wearing these with like Converse, a slouchy um, jumper, 
or like a white t-shirt and then kind of like a draped cardigan over the top i love those i have got a couple of jewels pieces i didn't wear these last year because they're not feeding friendly really because they're kind of like tunic dresses but they don't have any buttons or anything i'm gonna see how it goes because i don't really feed that much during the day anymore um and if we're home obviously it's a bit different i can pull just whip my top up sort of thing but yeah, this is a really nice Jules tunic. I love that actually. Can't even remember the last time I wore that. I'm definitely gonna put that up. This is a really nice Jules dress, which again, I haven't worn in a couple of years. I love that. And again, they bring out, it's got a zip at the back. They bring out the same dress in different floor prints and styles every year. I have got some shirts. Some faithful checked shirts. Definitely going to bring those out. Um, I've got a bit of leopard print here, and a shirt, and these are some little trousers, some trousers. And then I actually got this Zara shirt. I think this is a H&M shirt. Very autumnal vibes. Anyway, I am going to just crack on. I'm going to put this on like a fast speed. You can watch me fill up the rest of the wardrobe. It's a sour taste, in it? It's a sour taste To be fooled again, honey To be fooled again Stole my heart and ripped it into pieces Yes, you did You know it's not the way I planned No, it's not the way I wanted No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest Okay, this is where I'm at so far. So I've got my wardrobe pretty much sorted up here. Um, so I've got my blazers, like cardigans. I haven't got many cardigans, cardigans, whatever you want to call them. Shirts. I have a lot of shirts, like ridiculous amount. I could wear a different shirt every single day for like two weeks. It's crazy. But I do love a shirt, and it's just an easy throw on, especially just I don't know, just day to day for me. Um, and it's good for layering as well and then i've got some more like dressier things here more things without sleeves and then i've got my tunics there skirts and then my trousers here um i haven't touched the drawers yet so that is my pile to donate summer stuff that's practically empty I'm, i haven't been through the drawers yet though so i'm sort of some stuff may go in the drawers. I've got this dress, which I love, which I've had for a few years, which I'm actually going to put in the other wardrobe, which is where I hold all of my dresses. Um, a few vlogs back, I think I updated my wardrobe and I put all of my dresses in one place, moved my skirts out here, my trousers, because they kept the dresses kind of obviously hang too low and they get all crumpled. So, um, yeah, that's another area which I'll show you. So yeah, this is where I hold my dresses. And to be perfectly honest, I'm probably going to leave this out because I don't actually have any other dresses in there because they're all here. Summer ones, autumn ones, like formal ones. Also my coats, like my long my teddy coat, my grey one, my trench coat, which I absolutely love. Right, back to my wardrobe. I've had dinner, baby's still up, but I'm just going to try and get through it get it done tonight okay so i have basically sorted everything out added a few extra things which was 
in the bottom drawer which i hadn't worn this summer but again it just wasn't feeding friendly hopefully a lot of these tops i absolutely love and i will hopefully wear them next year years to come some of my old faithfuls in there um, I had a couple more things to the pile to donate or like give to my sisters or whatever. So I'm going to go through the drawers. I've been through basically everything. Can you see that little stain? I have a feeling that might be a bleach stain, which I'm a bit devastated about. It's quite faint though. But um, yeah, anyway, been through my drawers again, just to make sure. I pulled out a couple of things. This is like pajamas, underwear and Nike bits got a lot of pajamas um yeah i pulled out a few like white tops that are a bit stained a bit old a bit some and some there's a few like summery tops in there as well i'm gonna keep my knitwear here this is like roll neck knitwear then i just sorted out this drawer so this is basically was already here my um kind of leggings and just lounge wear my swim stuff still there got tights in the back um a couple of accessory stuff and then i've just put like they're kind of like a little bit like loungewear jumpers, but then I've just, I, like a couple of these I will throw on with a pair of jeans. It's just, you know, a bit more of a neutral tone jumpers. Lightweight, they're not too, they're like, like, not like a heavy knit, they're just a cotton. So yeah, my, this is my other drawer as well. I do actually need to get some more dividers. I feel like it shuffles too much, but yeah, that's just my makeup and my perfumes. So, yeah, I think I'm happy with that, the way that's turned out. So that is two boxes of summer stuff. That one's not even full anyway. For next year, loads of hangers left over that I'm just going to store. Okay, well, that is it for this video. I really hope... Oh, God, that light behind me. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know what you do. Do you transition your wardrobes over? Do you just leave it? Do you have a big enough wardrobe to leave it? Um... Over the years, I definitely have really, I think being at home with the children, my wardrobe has got bigger, because obviously previously, you just I just didn't have an extensive wardrobe because I never, I was working, you know, didn't need it. When you're at home, it feels like you do need a lot more. Um, but again, I feel like my wardrobe has downsized in the last few years. I definitely buy less and hold on to my things a lot longer. Um, but I have noticed there's a couple of things in my wardrobe that I would like and I don't have. Like I wouldn't mind another like knitted cardigan, maybe like a black one or a grey one. I just don't have that sort of thing. Um, yeah, there's a couple of pieces I think that I could add to my wardrobe, like investment pieces anyway. So um, yeah, anyway, I hope this has given you a bit of uh, motivation to sort out your wardrobes or do a little bit of organising in your house. Um, yeah, I will catch you all soon. Thanks so much for watching as always.